the power station. The Obi and Little Sean Morning Show. What it is with SD. What it is. Power 95.3. Sup, y'all? It's the Freaky Friday edition right here. And if you ever miss SD's What It Is, she blogs about every story that we cover. And you can watch it at power953.com slash TV. What it is? What it is with Jay-Z and Beyonce. The White House responds to Jay-Z's new song. It's called Open Letter, and it's a very controversial song right now. It literally just hit the web yesterday. It's on fire already, where he addresses his critics. People criticizing Jay-Z and Beyonce for going to Cuba. They're saying that they went illegally. Uh, I done turned Havana to Atlanta. Boy from the hood but got White House clamors. Ow. Obama said, chill, you gon' get me impeached. You don't need the ish anyway, chill with me on the beach. Now what Jay-Z is claiming is like, look, we're good. I got White House permission to go to Cuba with Beyonce Special for my trip. Special treatment. Problem is, yeah, you're not supposed to get permission from the White House or Barack Obama, even if he is your BFF. You get it from the Treasury. The Department of Treasury is the one that grants the licenses and the, the legal documentation to go to Cuba, right? Well, anyways, yesterday there was a press conference and one of the reporters actually asked the question, okay? She sat there and said, look, did they really, you know what I mean? Like she wrapped the lyrics and asked, did they really have the permission to go from Barack or was it from the Department of Treasury? And you hear this poor reporter try to rap like Jay-Z's entire lyrics and the songs and uh, and the words in his open letter. He suggested open letter. that uh, he got White House clearance and that he personally spoke with the president. I'll just quote, um, I turned Havana into Atlanta. Boy from the hood, I got White House clearance. Obama said, quote, chill, you're going to get me impeached. You don't need this expletive anyway. <laughs> chill with me on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so are you saying that he did not, the president did not have a conversation I with I am Jay-Z? absolutely saying that the White House, from the president on down, had nothing to do with anybody's personal, anybody's travel to Cuba. That is something that Treasury handles. Okay. It's a, it's a song, Donovan. The president did not communicate with Jay-Z <laughs> over uh, this trip. The reporter mm-hmm. was asking Jay Carney, right? He's a press secretary, so he's the one that's in charge of this. He takes charge of all this stuff. So when she asked him this, the reporter, Jay Carney, was like, look, there was no special treatment here. Jay-Z and Beyonce went legally. They got the permission from the Department of Treasury, and that's it. It's a song. Doesn't matter. Jay-Z, you know, his, his point is reached. He, he reached the president, you know, uh, White House press conference. They read his lyrics. Mm-hmm. And when yeah, put he, that, he could put that in the song. When you're that rich, you could take a submarine to Cuba. He would have gotten there anyways. Uh, now, what it is with the famous children's story. Have you heard about it? Go the F sleep. It was this book that's just been made famous, right? It's just kind of mocking children's stories, the bedtime stories. So this guy, right, he writes this story, Go the F to Sleep, and he had a voiceover done. And what happens is, um, what's, oh my God, what's uh, Samuel, Samuel Jackson? Jackson. Thank you, Samuel made, Jackson. Made the book. I have the article in Samuel front of me. Jackson. He really made it when he did the voiceover. Yeah, that's what really made it popular. Now I hear they're making an adaptation, like they're actually turning it into a movie, but you've got to hear it. How? It's absolutely hilarious. No, you have to, you know what it is, the Go the F to Sleep. The windows are dark in the town, child. How creepy this is. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book. If you swear, you'll go the f*** to sleep. <laughs> he did this parody. I don't know how the movie will turn out. What That's they will what I'm saying. It how are you going to make a movie out of a, out of a bedtime book? I don't know. I think it's going to be hysterical. You're a dad. You guys know this stuff. I obviously don't have children. I don't know. Well, the, these well things, the book is definitely not for kids. That's because, what I'm I mean, saying. You, you like, wouldn't tell your kid to go to, to sleep. I but mean. it's hilarious. The whole parody. <laughs> I think it's I guess so, so funny. I guess some parents do tell their kids that. <laughs> yeah. That's how they really feel as they're trying to read all these series. And that's what it is. Every 50 after with the OV and Little Sean show. Take us out, Sammy.